start off, we're going to start off with, with the tower. It's the Lian Lee 011 Dynamic XL, which is a, a full tower. Pretty nice. Looks, looks pretty good. It's got a front-facing glass, so it's got a glass panel on the front and side, which means no front intake, but it's got three fans on the side here. We'll get to the whole build. We'll get to the specifics of the case later on in the full video. Um, Kraken Z73. Reason why I chose is because you could put a nice little. Uh, it's got a nice little LCD screen where you could put a logo or or whatever it may be. It could be a GIF, GIF, however you want to pronounce it. You could put it on there. It could be the uh, the opening of the channel video. Thought it would be interesting, so uh, I grabbed it. It's supposed to cool very 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 well. One of the best all-in-one coolers on the market. We'll test that. And what I have here, and one of the ways we're going to test that, is Thermal Grizzly, Thermal Grizzly's Cryonaut Thermal Paste. We're actually not going to apply it. We're going to use the stock Thermal Paste on the Z73 first for the build. And then in a later video, we're going to take it off, apply this, compare the temperatures, and, uh, and go from there. Uh, moving on, let's move on to the RAM. 32GB um, set. It's DDR4000 with cast latency 15. Look at the cast latency. We'll talk about that in a future video as well if you don't know what that is. Look out for that when you're buying your RAM. This is probably going to be the most uh, the uh, most expensive, I know that for sure, but the uh, the most exciting part in the uh, in the build. RTX 3090 Extreme from Gigabyte. It's, uh, it's pretty pricey and it is pretty big. It is a four-slot card. So you will probably not be getting any additional video cards into this uh, into this build if you want to SLI or or anything of the sort because uh, it's going to take up pretty much your entire your entire space for video cards in your uh, PCI Express ports. But uh, this also has a nice little LCD screen. We'll put something on it. We'll mess with it at some point. Um, it can show temperatures. It's got this nice little um, Tamagotchi little thing, little uh, <laughs> little creature. Um, but moving on. X570 motherboard, another gigabyte part. The Aorus Extreme love their motherboards. Um, had the best results with their motherboards. No dead boards, no no issues with overclocking. So uh, fingers crossed with this one. Uh, I believe in it. I believe it's going to be a good uh, a good board. Haven't tried it though. And then the um, of course the very difficult to get um, Ryzen 9. Uh, what is this? Uh, 16 core, correct? Yeah, 16 core. AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. So the highest end I can get, which uh, if you're going with a high-end video card, you don't want to gimp out on your processor because you'll get a lot of a lot of bottlenecking. Um, moving on, um, EVGA 1200 watt power supply to support all of this very very high power draw parts, and then of course the three boxes I knocked down, which are two terabyte M.2 drives, uh, PCI 4.0, PCIe 4.0 drives, which is uh, new, new to the market, as you know, with the X570 boards and the uh, the newer Ryzen processors. So you get a little bit of a speed boost out of that for going for uh, read-write speeds go up with uh, PCI 4.0. And then, if you haven't seen it yet, the Lian Lee SL120 fans, which are really interesting because you can daisy chain fans, fans together, which if you don't know what that means, it's these fans will clip together, they'll slide into each other, lock in, and the power will transfer from one fan to the rest. I think you can daisy chain up to four of them. Uh, we'll only be doing three because of the, uh, the configuration in the case, but uh, it'll be three at the top, three on the side, and then uh, three at the bottom as well. Hopefully we can get those three in the bottom in there, and then one in the back for a total of ten fans. Um, that's why I got three. They're Three fans per kit, but they also sell single fans. So I had to grab one extra for the 10th fan, and uh, that should be interesting. We'll definitely uh, we'll highlight that a bit and show you guys exactly how that works. So that's the start of the, uh, the video. That's all our parts, and uh, let's get started.